नमस्कार मेरा नाम डॉक्टर रजत चौहान है और लाल अल्ट्रा दहाय का मैं रेस डायरेक्टर हूँ सो या माय नेम इज़ डॉक्टर रजत चौहान आई एम द रेस डायरेक्टर फॉर लाल अल्ट्रा दहाय सो आई एम फ्रॉम दिल्ली आई एम फ्रॉम स्मॉल लिटिल विलेज इन दिल्ली एंड दैट डेट्स बैक टू इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन सो या आई मीन आई नो माई एंसेस्टर्स एज लॉन्ग एज दैट एंड फॉर द बैक आई वॉज इन अ बोर्डिंग स्कूल वन आई वॉज नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड so this was in masuri in, in himalayas uh, it's a hill station uh, lower down and i picked up my running then and the idea there or the incentive of running was to avoid caning so the pe teacher or the sports teacher used to run behind us 5 in the morning when we were 9 years old caning the last guy while we were running so the idea was to come second last so it started from there the whole running and picked up gradually and then i realized that every fortnight we would actually have a drink for a fruit drink a mango drink for the first or uh, top 6 guys since so the plan from being second last was to come sixth so started running a little faster on the weekends to get that drink because in boarding schools our pocket money used to be 25 rupees and the drink we used to be worth 2 rupees so it's like 4 rupees you could win every month by coming sixth when i moved to delhi i wanted to pick up running as a career my folks weren't very excited about that they were like it's good you run you know you stay in shape and all that but i mean have you lost it um because running and you know if you're planning to go to the olympics and stuff like that so what you know does it feed you so they had a decent point i mean then i didn't like it their approach but in retrospect i'm glad you know they kind of me in a way forced me if it were uh, to do medicine so i did this thing from uh, medical osteopathy from london college of osteopathic medicine um During this whole time, I picked up my running again. Uh, there was a running friend there, Siri Tejerson, and she asked my times for half marathon and full marathons. Full marathon, I'd never done it in an official race, but in practice, I'd done a 2:38. So professionally, if you were planning on going to the Olympics, you know, not good enough. Amateur-wise, it's actually very good. Uh, why don't you run longer? So she signed me up for something called Paris to London. Now that was a very important race for me in the whole running scene for me because. I was running from a capital of a country uh, to the other capital of a country which had been at war for 400 plus years. Um and I was running and now they are at peace if not at love. So that was very fascinating. I was like, you know, we need to do something bigger with running rather than just run. While I was doing that, um I was actually wanting to see if I could come back to India. The reason being my wife was pregnant for the second time for the second with the second kid. Uh so either we go back now or never. It's not going to happen half way through. So like let me check in there. The only thing I was thinking about though was my running. Well, like in London, running's easy. You know, I can run anywhere. It's awesome. Um that was an important part because I would run to work places, three clinics, I would run from one place to another, change, you know, go to the other one. Hardly take the metro, hardly take the bus. And suddenly coming to a place where, you know, you can't actually run outside because it's so you know, pollution and stuff like that there is no pathway nothing uh that was one thing that i had to give and i was like no i'm not giving it up i'm going to bring it with me 